Hi guys, now we will go for crab fishing. For that, our net is there over there, and now I'll uh, cut the net out into three, four pieces, and we'll go to set the net on the rocks. So guys you can check out uh, the fishes on the net we have already fitted it and so now nets are ready there are four nets so we will put the nets on the rocks and we will check out in the morning how many crabs you can catch. So we have reached on to our location guys so we will take one net and put it on the rock onto the exact spot where the crabs can come and may stuck into the net so we'll find out tomorrow guys about it but first we need to fit the net over here into this huge rocks we'll add some small rocks also so that the net cannot go off when the tide gets high so we have to be careful about that and we need to put it very carefully So guys our first net is set and now we will go to set our second net. Guys, now we will fit our third trap. The three nets are already set it up. Now it's a fourth net, so we'll set it over the rock over there. Okay, let's go, guys.
so guys the crabs basically uh, when the tide get high they you basically store in that holes kind of thing so i already put it out the net so let's check out tomorrow morning because now it's evening around 5 30 and the sunset is also looking crazy guys i'll show you but before that before ending the video i like to say thank you guys for your great support it means a lot to me keep supporting and love you all guys you can check out guys our net and here is the beautiful sunset which had just formed out you can check out guys how beautiful this sunset is and the nets are also ahead so we'll take a leave from here guys today and tomorrow we'll go to check the net hey what's up guys it's morning seven o'clock and now here back into the sea to check the net so we'll check our rock nets and we'll find out if there are any crabs stuck on the net or not or our video will be flopped guys if there is no crabs but still we'll check because i found it out there are many crabs the stones on the stones basically so that's the reason we have put in the net onto the rocks so now let's just check out the all four nets i'm on the fourth net which is over here guys over here you can check out so now we will remove that net and check out if any crabs are there let's check out guys if there are any crabs oh guys oh there there it is guys you can check out the crab which has stuck up on the net there is one crab then there is another crab over here which was stuck out and now we'll guys remove the net we'll remove the whole net from here you can check out the stones which i kept on the net so that net cannot be separated due to the uh, water and all so we have to remove the stones also let's hope the other nets also we can find some crabs let's check out guys you can check out these crabs this crab actually got grass on his back it would be a great meal for a big grouper you can check out guys these are the two crabs which i got and now we'll go to check out our second nets and the other left nets let's go guys what happens guys ki when the sea level rises no then the crabs go into the stones and to hide from the waves they actually climb out the opposite direction of the stones that's the reason i have put it the net accordingly so that if there is any crab they can directly get stuck into my net so we'll find out guys here there are two nets you can check out we'll directly go to check the net and we'll find out if there is any crab over here you can check out the slippery level guys over here i need to be very careful while walking and over here oh guys there is guys there is there is a crab you may cannot see actually but let me show you all you can check out this is the beast crab guys it's a really grown up and a mature crab hey buddy hey buddy you're going home with me so we'll remove the net first there is nothing over back side so we'll remove directly and we'll take the net home so here that is the crabby crabby crab these are the rock crabs guys and at our place the crabs named as a uh, sorpori so hope that don't sound weird to you guys so one more net is over here let's check that out there are many rocks over here guys so you need to be careful even if you are walking you need to walk very slow okay so here we are keeping the net we will check out the this net you can check out guys i didn't even brush my teeth it's morning so directly i wake up and i ran into the sea this is the net guys first let's remove the rocks from the net 
to remove rocks is very necessary guys if i didn't remove the rocks then oh guys oh shit oh, you can check out this one yeah i literally got scared of this one the way the crab was looking at me was actually scared of me you can check out the crabby crabby crab so we'll find out if another crabs are there we'll just go up the rock and we'll check out guys we we'll came up on the rock so the uh, this thing actually worked guys the traps we put it some fishes that actually worked oh there is another there is another crab guys you can check out this crab is also a grass crab you can check out he has all over his back he has grass and it's a great meal for a big group of guys to be honest with you all we'll remove the net for now so that we can check our one more net which is there the rock nets which i have put it yesterday so we are taking this both crabs home we'll cut it out later and we'll have a great meal of this crabs guys so let's just go and find out the last net for the day the branch over here guys i need to be careful while walking you can check out the fishes over here the chanka is which we called i don't know the exact name of those fishes but yeah it is called chanka in our village i know it's a bit, bit awkward to hear that names but yeah that's how it is guys so we'll check now the last net for the day which is over here this is our all nets which are collected we'll keep it here and we'll remove this one okay guys let's check if there is any crabs over here uh i don't think guys there are any crabs but still we'll remove the whole net no point of climbing up so i have kept the rock guys on to the net but there is no rock on the net and net has literally came down so we'll remove the net i don't think there is any crab on this net we'll just tear it and remove as fast as oh guys here there is a crab oh guys there is crab there are crabs there are crabs you can check out over here there is a one crab and over here there is another crab you can check out guys oh guys this crabs was literally hiding from me oh let's just take this out you can check out the crab we'll remove this and we'll take this crabs straight to our home guys and we'll remove crabs and we'll have a great meal out of this beautiful crabs which we call as a rock crabs so let's just find out the total crabs and we'll take these crabs and go straight away to the home and we'll remove the crabs over there now finally i have reached home this is our plastic bag and this is all our nets you can check out so we'll remove the crabs from the nets now guys i found out a small crab on the net which is very small guys you can check this out this is a very small crab so we'll let this crab go because we already have enough scraps so that it can also grow and get big then we can catch this crab later but for now let's just make this uh, crab go to straight into the sea we'll remove this we'll remove the net and we'll allow this crab to go home and go safe we'll catch it the crab now let's just leave this crab into the sea grow up and then we'll catch you but for now you have a lot of life to live so go my buddy we'll send it into this hole guys because there are water also in this hole and it can take water also and get fresh fully so we'll leave the crab over here we'll and it is left you can check out 
the happiness of the crab and it's going inside i'll just on the flashlight guys and show you all it's actually gone inside totally deep inside the hole so i guess yeah it's good that the crab got escaped or it would be a really bad news guys if you are keeping the small crabs to eat because we already have enough crabs so that is enough you need to take from the sea that much only which is enough for you not which you need more and more and more so we'll keep this nets over up and we'll take the crabs which has been so you can check out the the amounts of crab we have you can check this out the total amounts of crabs it's totally enough guys for the day so we no don't, don't need to remove much crabs or catch much crabs these crabs are totally enough for the meal so we'll take these crabs and we'll go home guys now it's time guys to remove the crab and clean it fully first like you can check out you can remove the back side of the crab so that you can it can be easy to remove the shell of the crab then you just need to clean the crab from the inside and also you need to wash it very carefully you need to remove the nails i mean the hand nails of the crabs those are very sharp and that can definitely damage you all so you need to remove that if you are cooking this kinds of crabs then you need to be careful because they are very aggressive and they can actually run anywhere they are very strong crab guys you can check this out the crabs and then you need to wash it very carefully and then only you are ready to eat it and cook and eat it you cannot eat it raw guys we are all set guys it's onion it's chilies and it's a dry mango and also some haldi powder which we put it into the crabs now we'll add the all the materials which are required as garlic and then the ginger and then the other materials which is also required to put into the crabs to taste it as best as can guys so now we'll put the all materials these are the garlic and the ginger which we have already added up and now it's time to add for the chilies and also follow up with the onion and the rest materials which are there and then we'll set up into the gas and we'll cook it we will also add up some handmade curry masala which we go and actually prepare with the coconut with the lot of masalas and we make it ready guys and without the coconut the dish is totally incomplete so we'll add on some of the coconut now it's time to add some water so that it can boil properly and well cook so that's the reason water is necessary to put on and you need to mix it well also and now the gas has been already set it up and now we will cook the crabs we will add some salt also guys so that it can taste more yummy the crabs are finally cooked up guys it looks very delicious to me i hope that it will taste as perfect as it looks guys now we will take it into the plate before that i switched off the gas also
so these are my veggies guys now we brought it into the location and now we'll cut out the veggies and we'll have a yummy salad also now i'm cutting the all the carrots the tomatoes the onions and this video is basically time lapse guys that's the reason it's going very fast and now our salad is finally ready without the lemon and without the coconut our meal is incomplete so now let's cut the coconut and this is the coconut water and now we will put it into the glass and we'll have a yummy lunch guys i have put it into the water you can check out the fresh coconut water and now we'll cut on the lemon also and we'll add on lemon on all three items which are there with me you can check out the juicy lemon it's look totally fresh and totally juicy we'll put it into the salad first so you can check the juicy lemon spreading all the juice onto the our yummy salad so we'll put on the all the juice then next is our coconut first we'll put mint leaves which are available in our garden so no need to purchase and then the lemon also so that it can taste more yummy and we can stay hydrated for a longer period of time this meal is perfectly yummy guys and another lemon juice so that it can taste more delicious and now i'll also add some honey into the coconut water so that it can taste really good guys and to be honest it tastes very delicious do try once do add some lemon if you don't like honey then it's okay but do let the lemon inside the coconut water it tastes super yummy and super delicious guys do try it for once our meal is almost ready guys now we'll have our meal Hmm, क्यों कोई पास है दूर है क्यों कोई जाने ना कोई कहाँ है ये दूरिया मिटानी है दूरिया and guys we'll end our day and this video with the fresh coconut water which is there you can check this out it's look totally amazing guys the and the crabs were perfectly cooked and the salad tastes awesome guys i just have this drink it tastes perfectly delicious guys and that's all for today in this video thank you so much for watching till here and thank you so much for your great support and love love you all guys